I need the farthest of breaks from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I ain't gonna hold you down, bro. I don't even know if y'all even watched the FNAF 2 series, but that shit has been pissing me. <laughs> it makes no sense, bro. Why the fuck are Balloon Boy and Foxy such a dynamic duo? They're like Kobe, Shaq, LeBron, Kyrie. Titties and ass. My nigga like, God damn! That shit pisses me off, bro. On to fucking Phoenix Wright, my nigga. Holy shit, bro. I don't even know what the fuck is going on, my nigga. I'm just so mad right now, bro. I had to play another game, bro. <laughs> what about Mr. Edward was talking about? What the fuck does she mean? What the fuck does she mean? A memory of a crime that I committed. What crime did you commit, Edward? Boy! No, I'm not doing that shit again, bro. Hell no. A memory of a murder. This nigga murdered somebody, bro? What? Why would you tell anybody that, my nigga? Especially a lawyer. Do you really think that Mr. Edgeworth killed somebody? I don't believe it. Not Edgeworth. Some painful memory has been troubling him recently. What if it's just the murder of his father, my nigga, as Poppy? Well, that's what the fuck he's thinking about. But he'd never take someone's life. NEVER! Nick! Oh my fucking god, man! What are you doing here? But you got a fire ass theme though, bro. God damn! Yo, how's everyone doing, my nigga? He's doing the fucking main character thumbs up side. Yeah, yes, sir. What's going on, my nigga? Harry Butts! What do you think of my performance today? Your performance, nigga? You up there lying? I am swooning in the aisles, huh, Maya? Weren't you swooning too? Nigga, she's 13! What is wrong with this pedophile ass nigga? What is he doing with his arm? What is he doing down there? Oh, hell nah. Swooning? Me? Larry, uh, Larry, Larry I don't know if you want to keep going far with this, my nigga. I don't know if you want to keep going far with this. All right, look at her age, Larry. Look at her age, Larry. Stop that bullshit, bro. Oh, uh, oh, yes. I do remember feeling faint. Larry, no! No! Right on. Tell me the truth. It was like love at first sight, right? Larry, Larry, abort the mission, nigga, abort the mission like Roe v. Wade, what are you talking about, bro, what, what the fuck is going on right now, right, Nick, no, not right, no, nigga, I'm not have nothing to do with this goddamn conversation, hell no, huh, me, I, uh, well, maybe my heart skipped a beat or two, I think you could do better than that, what the fuck, come on, I saved Edward in there, dude, edgy, nigga, I saved Edward. You didn't do a damn thing, my nigga. You almost killed the entire case for us. You guys should be bowing before me. Whoa, whoa. I'm not calling you massa, nigga. I'm not calling you massa. Bow before your hero. No! What is wrong with this nigga? Today's trial. Larry, you really helped out in the trial a lot today, my nigga. Nigga's down in the comment section. Now Larry's carrying this bitch ass nigga. Larry's not carrying me. Larry's not carrying me, my nigga. Hell no, bro. You did. Uh, he didn't carry me. If you weren't there, Larry, I'm sure Mr. Edgeworth would be very guilty. No, man. I'm the one that's helping that nigga the most. What is going on with the damn text? But seriously, Nick, that bow shop caretaker got pretty suspicious. My nigga. He's the nigga that killed the father. I don't give a flying fuck, bro. He killed the father. Now he's trying to go after Edgeworth next, my nigga. He's taking out the entire family lineage like Itachi Uchiha. Ain't no damn way. But Edge ain't off the hook yet. Way to spoil the mood, Larry. Hey, I'm just a guy sitting in the audience, you know. Nigga, you were a part of the actual trial. Not anymore, my nigga. You were not a part of the audience, bro. Fuck no. But from where I was sitting, Edgy seemed pretty edgy. What the fuck does that mean? I mean, can you really know he's trying to get the truth about it that night? What is the actual truth, Nick? I don't know. But what I do know is... I'm going to believe in you two until the very end. If you get like one or two niggas like that to believe in you to the very end, my nigga, that's all you need in life, bro. That's all you need, my nigga. Amongst all the niggas that hate, two niggas that believe in you, that's all you need, bro. Us two? Edgeworth and who else? You mean me, right? No, nigga, not at all. No, he means me, right, Nick? Yeah, you, Larry. Not me. Why you, Larry? Why you? Huh? Um, actually, yeah, why me, Nick? Because you've been this since the very fucking beginning, my nigga, since second grade, dog. Well, enough with the silent treatment. Why not me? Shut your bitch ass up, bro, Maya. I despise you, that's why. I despise you. 
I can't stand that bitch, bro. Edgeward. Nick, why do you trust Mr. Edgeward so much? I mean, he's changed recently, true. That nigga had an entire character arc in this one fucking game, my nigga. What is he gonna act like inside GFA? I think it's called Justice for All, right? What is the third game called? Trials and Tribulations? What is it gonna be about my fucking name, my nigga? Holy shit. He was kind of a jerk, don't you think? You didn't know him back then. We're getting some much needed character exposition. Back when we wanted to become a defense attorney. Wait, was that when you two were classmates? He wanted to be a defense attorney since fucking fourth grade? In grade school. What is this song? What is this song? They saved me. Miles and Larry. They saved me and I'll never forget it. What the fuck happened? That's why I became a defense attorney, you know. You became a defense attorney because of Edgeworth? Out of all niggas and Larry? Hey, hey, Larry, what's he talking about? Huh? Uh, um, uh, sorry, I kind of forgot about that bullshit. We kind of does wonders to the mind, you know. What the fuck? Nigga, stop smoking like Snoop Dogg. Uh, okay, Nick, out with it. I'm going to hear this story today, and that's final. We're finally getting their backstory, my niggas. Hold up, bro. Okay, okay. It's kind of a long story, so hang in there. It was the very end of third grade. I was on trial. Nigga, where did y'all go to school? Hoax Peak Academy? A class trial? That nigga was against Hajime and Makoto. Ain't no fucking way, bro. And Suichi. A class trial? What is this, Daniel Ropa? The class trial. You remember, Larry? Spring, end of third grade. A body had been discovered. Like, nigga, no the fuck it wasn't. A kid in our class got his lunch money stolen. And they blame me. Lunch money? Our school is really small. Every month, kids would bring an envelope of money for schools from home. Huh, I see. Anyway, this kid's envelope disappeared. With 38 bones inside that shit? And that broke ass nigga got mad at that shit, my nigga. Go ban for ban with me right now. I would lose expeditiously, nigga. I'm broke. I have no money, bro. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. I can see why you forget, though. You were out of school that day. Nigga, he didn't forget. He just didn't know. You miss one day of school and a fucking class trial happens? I'd be so mad, my nigga. A class trial would happen. Tupac would come back and do a fucking duet with, the, with Biggie. Like, nigga, no way. Anyway, the envelope had been stolen during P.E. class. I was coming down with the cold, so I skipped P.E. that day. I was the only one not in class. So, they thought you did it? Yeah, the kids in the class said I should be put on trial. A trial? So next day we held a classroom trial with me as a defendant. They had an actual class trial! Look at Miss Frizzle in the back. Like, nigga, you are not hard, bro. Get that pose out of here. I, I didn't do it! Guilty, he did it! Guilty, get my money back, you're such a fucking bitch ass nigga! I hate niggas like you! Just admit it, you did it! You did you can't have the truth! We're gonna hide with the blame with you anymore! Nigga, they're going crazy, god damn! Uh. Now, Phoenix, you know you shouldn't steal people's money, it's not right! In the end, even the teacher thought I'd done it! Going over and just apologize, Phoenix, right the fuck now! Nigga, no, give me my money back! I don't want an apology! Look at this nigga's bum ass shirt, H&M ass shirt, Walmart ass shirt. I didn't know it was happening. I was so sad I couldn't stop crying. Everyone was staring at me like I did it. I tried to apologize. I went to where the boy was whose money had been taken from him. That's when it happened. That nigga Edward jumped in the classroom like objection, like no way. The only thing that belongs in this trial is evidence. Anything else has no place. You should all be ashamed, amateurs. Miles? Bro. Look at this scene. It wasn't you who stole my money, was it? No, then you shouldn't apologize. Everyone's been shouting, you did it, but no one has any proof. That is why, your honor, this boy is innocent. But Miles, it was your money that was stolen. Yeah, yeah, he did it. He's the one. We don't need any proof. Why don't you all just shut the fuck up? 
Nigga, you said Larry wasn't there! Don't add yourself to the memory! Hell no, nah, bro! That nigga like Mr. Poopy Butthole! Nigga, you're not inside this episode! This is always how it ends up everyone changing up on picking up on one person! Just think about how he feels! He said he didn't do it, so he didn't do it! Woo! God damn! Very well! I will replace the money myself! This class trial is over! <laughs> nigga, who did it? Who stole the money? It was for sure the teacher, 1000%. She had rent due. She needed that 38 to her name. That's how it happened. After that, the three of us were the best of friends. Wow. I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea either. I mean, I forgot. That's when I learned what it meant to be alone. Totally alone, without a friend in the world. You did a good thing, Larry. Um, well, yeah, of course I did. Of course, nigga, you don't even remember that fucking shit happening. Oh, my God. I was just lucky that I took the day off from school. If I'd been there, they would have thought I'd done it. Nigga, if you took the day off from school, how the fuck were you there? What is going on right now? But was it after school care? So I took it kind of personally, see? When something smells, it usually is the butt. God damn. Anyway, Edgeworth and I talked after the class trial. That's when I heard his father was the defense attorney. I remember his eyes were shy when he talked about his father. I'm going to become a defense attorney. Just like my father. Woo! I love dream chasers, my nigga, bro. If you can just so adamantly say you're going to do something and then you become that thing, bro. Like, God damn, that's such a clean ass fucking story. A famous defense attorney. But he gave it up, but why did he become a fucking prosecutor instead? And a few months later, he suddenly transferred to another school. Like, can you imagine how different your life would be if certain situations didn't take place, bro? Like, if COVID never happened, rest in peace to everybody that passed away, I wouldn't be doing YouTube or content, my nigga, at all, bro. Like, certain things happen inside your life that change the trajectory of your life forever, dog. And that's absolutely insane. I wouldn't know any of you niggas. Nobody I've ever met online. I probably wouldn't have had a couple of girlfriends that I had, bro. Like, shit would have been different, bro. Woo! Holy shit. The DL6 incident. Right. I'm not sure, but the transfer probably had to do with his father's death. That's so sad. It was several years later when I heard Edgeworth's name again. There was an article about him in the newspaper. The headline was something like, Dark suspicions of a demon attorney. His nickname is the demon attorney? Fabricating evidence, manipulating testimonies, and covering up facts. The article said he'd do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. But why? What happened? I mean, that's not the edgy I used to know at all. Nigga, it was fourth grade, bro. There were still NPCs back then. That's why I thought too. I tried to get in touch with him, I don't know how many times. He never replied back to me. Until I beat that nigga inevitably inside court 3-0. Bitch ass nigga Edgeworth, I beat your ass three times! Get big body on me! I guess he didn't want to see his old friends. I couldn't just drop it though. I wanted to meet him, to learn why he had become who he became. That's why I decided. You don't mean... That's why... That's why you became a defense attorney to meet Edgeworth? What? The only reason I'm even a lawyer right now is because of Edgeworth? If I was a defense attorney, I knew he'd have to meet me whether he wanted to or not. Oh my god! Ha, <laughs> bro! This shit is clean! In court. He said, I will meet you by any means necessary. Even if I have to become your arch rival, you will look me in my eye and tell me what the fuck happened to you. That's clean as a bitch, bro! Becoming somebody's rival so that they have to acknowledge your existence is insane. Ezra believed in me, and I believe in him. He's in pain and no one else is on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real Edgeworth. I'm the only one who can help that nigga. 
This is the exact same scenario as when we were younger, bro. Nobody believed I was innocent. Nobody believes he's innocent. It's mirrored character growth. Woo! Hey, my ace attorney niggas, bro. <laughs> Y'all have not let me down yet. I can't lie to you at all, bro. This series is a hidden gem, bro. This is one of those that, like, niggas skip it first and then go back and watch this shit like, Oh, shit, this game kind of fire. Like, God damn! So, is that why you helped me out for free? Yes. I helped you because I believed in you. It's like, this nigga as a character, Phoenix Wright, is correcting all the wrongs of his past. Larry believed I didn't do it. I believed he didn't do it, and I was the only one that did so, so I helped the nigga. Proved his case wrong. Edgeworth is in the exact same shoes right now. I believed in you. Except I don't remember saying I'd do it for free. I never said that! Oh, Nick! Nick! Nick, we have to save Mr. Edgeworth if it's the last thing we do. Okay? Right. It very well may be. First, there's that rental boat shop caretaker. We need to find out who or what he is. I'd settle for who. I guess I can clean out some of the evidence I no longer need. Alright, so now we got rid of all that bullshit, bro. Let's see, what do we get rid of? What do we get rid of? Nigga, nothing! Okay, let's go. Here we go, my niggas. We need to go to... Larry, you stay your goofy ass here. You stay your goofy ass here. We need to go here first. To Gore Lake. And research that nigga's entire fucking house. Hey, pal, long time no see. Nigga, it's been like maybe 30 seconds at most. Oh my fucking god. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. Close one today, huh? I got so worked up, I snapped my tie in half. Nigga, how the fuck did you do that, strong ass nigga? Uh, sorry about that. No problem, pal. Thanks to you, we now know who really did it. You have a nigga that nobody can find. He disappeared off the face of this goddamn earth. You mean the boat shop caretaker? No, I'll make you a promise. I'll have that challenger on my custody by tomorrow, child. Come my way. It's my duty to you as a police officer. Now I'm off to catch a crime, a criminal. Nigga, where is he at, bro? That nigga on a fucking boat and is halfway to fucking Asia by now. Detective Gumshoe sure is it's active today. Oh, what other thing? Ah! No one can go to the woods today. I can't go to his house? The woods? Where Lada was camping. Oh, okay, all right, best. Say less. What is Lada doing over there? The woods are off limits to camping, and apparently the park ranger found out. He got pretty mad. <laughs> so Lada's in jail right now. Y'all niggas sent Ice Spice to jail with that big light skin booty? Ain't no damn way. I guess Lada's in a lot of trouble. Anyway, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Holy fuck. All right. We can't go to the fucking... We don't even need to go over there. Bird. Stop speaking when I speak. Anyway. I wanna, I don't know, bro. I don't know what the book To Kill a Mockingbird is about, but I wanna do that shit, exact same shit to that nigga, bro. I'm gonna write a fucking book out to kill that bum ass nigga. Please let me just talk. On to Gore Lake, public beach. God damn, bro. December 27th. Huh? The steel eyesore is missing. Eyesore? Looks like a hot dog stand is closed too. That nigga Larry lost his job? Damn! I guess Larry's too busy worrying about Mr. Edgeworth to show up for work. Nigga, you need money still. Boat rental shop. We have to go inside here, my niggas. That old caretaker got away. Nigga, he's probably just inside this fucking house hiding somewhere. I never imagined he might be the real murderer. Ahem! Who the fuck is that? I know that clearing of a throw anywhere. Ice Spice! Ice Spice! Not this fat fuck! <laughs> um, hello, what might you be doing here? Out for a walk? Mm, nigga, I'm surprised you're out for a walk, bro. You weigh at least a ton. Ah, uh, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Mr. Fatass, this is no time for idle reminiscing. Mr. Edgeworth's trial needs to end tomorrow. Uh, is that true? Yes. But from what I saw today's trial, Edgeworth should be fine, right? Well, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Nigga, I knew you were Chris Kringle, bro. That big ass belly. What do you mean by that? Well, I'm not sure. Hmm, if you find anything out, come by my office at once. I may be able to offer you some assistance. 
For some lunch money, of course. Nigga, I'm not giving you any lunch money, you fat ass. You're a lawyer. Go buy it yourself. Thanks. Bye. What do you think Mr. Grossberg was doing here anyway? Who the fuck knows, bro? Has that nigga even been a lawyer this entire goddamn game, bro? Who's he defended? Ever. Caretaker Shack. I'm gonna steal this nigga's fucking bird then, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. Hey, 2K and Sam, nigga, you go with me, bitch ass nigga. Hell yes, bro. Caretaker Shack. Nobody's home. Hello, hello, hello. Nigga, you are not FNAF, bitch ass nigga. Squawk. Hey, it's Polly. I wonder where your owners are going, Polly. Hello, hello, hello. Ask the nigga. He knows everything. I can't believe he run off and leave his poor peer to fend for himself. Hello, hello, nigga. Okay, we get it, bro. Can we talk to the nigga? Can we talk to the nigga? Examine. Maybe I should take care of Polly, Nick. You probably shouldn't just kidnap her. The police know about her anyway. I'm sure they'll do something. Well, okay. Sorry, Polly, since I can't take you. Great, now the bird's going to hate me. Oh my fucking god, bro. Alright, let's see. What can we examine inside here? The safe. That reminds me, Nick. Polly here knows the number to the safe, right? We can get inside now! Yeah, that's right. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. All right, best. Say less, my nigga. Let's open it, Nick. Come on. I'm surprised she didn't spell Leon's name backwards or some shit. I'm sure there's any money in there. Ah, but hey, it keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in there. It's about to be every single court record to what the fuck that nigga has committed, bro. Or his real name. I'm not so sure. Okay, Nick. Let's see what's in there. I guess there might be a clue or two. One, two, two, eight. The only thing in here is a letter. Signed from who? Signed from who? A letter? Oh, boring. There's no name or signature on this thing. Fuck! It's handwritten in a very precise, clear letters. So that nigga's not even crazy then, bro. He wrote that shit immaculately. Ain't no fucking way. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. I knew it! Edgeworth. Nick, why is Mr. Edgeworth's name on there? How should I know? I'm going to read this whole thing. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. It also says this is your last chance. Now is the time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. The rest of the letters goes on to describe the murder plot in detail. How to kill Robert Hammond and frame Edgeworth. What the fuck? I thought Robert Hammond won that case though. Calling Edgeworth out to the lake, getting onto the boat, firing twice. It's exactly what I figured out today in court. It's all here in perfect detail. If we would have only got inside that fucking, we would have had the whole crate of case cracked already, bro. What do you think it means, Nick? I don't know, but it looks like all these instructions are for caretaker. When he killed Robert Hammond and called out Edgeworth, he was following instructions. But who could have written that letter? Nigga, that dumbass fucking Von Karma nigga. I know it was, bro. And what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? Look, I don't know, okay? But one thing's for sure. This letter is an amazing clue. Woo! Why would you leave that behind, though? Now I have everything I need to crack the case. All right, say less. TV doesn't work. What is this shit? Ah! What's wrong? Huh? Oh, never mind. What? Tell me! Just when I saw the TV, I remembered the Shoei Pink Princess special this week. <laughs> Nigga, who cares? Uh, oh my god, man. Okay. See, that's why I didn't want to tell you. Oh my god, man. Edgeworth, tell me your enemies now! December 27th, detention center. Visitor's room. He ain't saying a damn word. You look as grim as always. <laughs> Um, Mr. Edgeworth, I heard this story about the Clash. Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that, bro. He will say I'm riding dick. Clash trial. What the fuck do you mean? You don't remember? No, I don't. Nigga, yes you do, bro. I was a vital memory for the who, the person you are today. Your lunch money was stolen, wasn't it, in third grade? Lunch money. Oh, oh, right. Yes, I seem to remember something like that. Nigga, <laughs> that's how you know I mean such a big thing to Phoenix, right? Because how the fuck am I the only nigga that remembers that thing and these two don't? I think you're the only one who remembers me. Exactly! What the fuck? Well, probably only really mattered to me anyway. <laughs>
<laughs> he is the only nigga that remembers that shit, bro. That's so sad, but it's like kind of like I don't know, like happy in a way, bro. Mr. Edgeward, don't you know that trial was the reason Nick became a? Don't tell Edgeward that. <laughs> Wait, Phoenix right. Are, are, are you riding on dick? Are you riding on dick? Like, nigga, no, bro. I promise I'm not. Ridiculous. Gee, thanks. That said, it does sound like the kind of thing you do. You haven't changed a bit, have you, right? So simple. To a fault, even. Well, maybe, yeah, but I think you changed too much, Edgeworth. Perhaps. <laughs> nigga, talk to the nigga. Prosecutor Von Karma, what can you tell me about this nigga? What's your relationship with Von Karma? He's my teacher and a man who deserves respect. I think he a little evil on some real shit, bro. I don't know. Something about him just gives me, like, antagonist vibes, bro. I learned everything I know from the courtroom techniques from him. Nigga, <laughs> you do terrible things. You do anything by any means possible, bro. AMP, Kai and them. So, he's like my sister was to you, Nick. Yeah, but she was actually a good person. He is a perfectionist in all things. In court, in his personal life, he is obsessed with doing everything perfectly. Perfectly, huh? In all cases, he has taken on, none were left unsolved, and not one suspect was ever declared innocent. Ever. But, but that's... I know. It's possible some of the suspects were indeed innocent. What?! He sent innocent niggas to prison?! And you know he was doing all the fucking weed in cases for black people. You know he was, bro. He was part of the crack epidemic, sending ample niggas to jail. However, it is impossible for us to accurately determine that in every case. All Von Karma does in his job is find the suspect guilty perfectly. In any case, it's nigh well impossible to find weakness in him. Should a weakness appear, he would do everything in his power to make it go away. Um, Edgeworth, if what you're saying is true, you're headed for a guilty sentence tomorrow. He's right! Uh, now's the time to praise the enemy, Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> it's a strange situation I'm in myself. I'll admit it. This nigga Edgeworth is the enemy of the person that trained him to become the person he is today. And the only nigga on his side is his also biggest enemy in the entire courtroom. Me! God damn! Hey, Edgeworth, why did you become a prosecutor anyway? You used to look up to your dad. You said you wanted to be a defense attorney, right? Right! I couldn't let myself deny reality like you. What do you mean? My father was taken away from me. You want me to defend criminals? Woo! What if by the end of this, he makes the steps to become a fucking defense attorney, bro? I'm sorry, right, but I'm not that good of a person. Oh my god! He only became a prosecutor because his dad was killed by a criminal, so he vowed to take off every criminal in the world. This nigga, Edward, <laughs> this crazy, this is crazy, bro. Damn. One suspect was apprehending your father's murder, right? Yes. The man trapped in the elevator with my father. His name was Yanni Yogi. And that's for sure gonna be that old ass man. He would not tell me that. He would not tell me that. He had to be the shooter in any way you look at it. Yet he was found innocent. That defense attorney got him off the hook. So why would Yanni Yogi go back and kill Hammond then? That would be Robert Hammond. Yeah, Rob he said he killed the two niggas that ruined his life on that day 15 years ago. This is going to be a crazy plot twist, but I know it is. The three of us were trapped in that elevator for five hours. When we were rescued, we all suffered oxygen deprivation. I had lost all memory of the murder. Lost your memory? Even now, I can't recall what happened in that elevator. That was the crux of Yogi's attorney's argument in the court. He claimed that Yanni Yogi had not been found mine due to the oxygen deprivation. Woo! He was not of sound mind? Didn't the old ass man go through some traumatizing event where he lost all his memories too? Like Edgeworth? Yogi was released due to a lack of evidence. Innocent. It has to be him, bro. That's when I changed my mind. I started to hate defense attorneys. That nigga despises me. Holy fuck. What about this right here? What about this right here? You know what this is? Edgeworth, see this letter? Huh? This came out of the safe in the shack where the boat rental caretaker lives. I see. Revenge on me? Who is that old guy anyway? It's Yanni Yogi! It's Yanni Yogi! It's Yanni Yogi! I know it is! I don't know. 
Could he be an innocent defendant? You got declared guilty or something? Nice right. But I don't remember that old man at all. So he was following this letter then? It was either Yanni Yogi is the old man or Yanni Yogi hired that nigga to do it. Which means there was someone else behind this shit. Now it's the time to get revenge on two men who ruined your life. Two men meaning myself and Robert Hammond. But him and Robert Hammond have had no correlation to all this entire game. It also says this is your last chance. Last chance because the case is going to end tomorrow I think. Maybe he's talking about the situation. Yeah, the statute of limitations. Well, I'm about to become a lawyer myself, my nigga. Damn. Wait. That old man. Do you remember that old bastard? That old fluke? Do you know who he is? Yogi. Could he be Yogi? Nigga, Yogi who, bear? Yogi? The suspect in the DL6 incident. The one who was found innocent. He's Yanni Yogi! Yanni Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. We just happened to be in the elevator together 15 years ago. The earthquake! That's how his life got ruined! Because we were inside the elevator with him... That doesn't make any sense though! The quake was incredibly strong. How did we ruin his life, my nigga? I mean, I could have ruined his life, like, as an edge word, but how the fuck did, uh, Hammond do that shit? Before I knew it, everything was dark. We were there so long, it felt like forever. The air thinned, and the darkness closed in on us in a little box. We became unsettled. That nigga Yanni Yogi was going crazy over there. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I would have been like, hey, Lance, all right the fuck now. Hell nah. He in here transforming. me. Quiet, I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. I want to get out. Help, get us out. Uh, don't shout. You'll just use up more oxygen. <laughs> like, nigga, hell no. What are you turning into? That's all I remember. When I came to, I was in the hospital bed, staring up at the ceiling. He forgot his dad's death. In court, Yanni Yogi's mental condition was called into question. They claim the oxygen deprivation and stress had many temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed the court, and Yogi was found innocent. Huh? But isn't that strange? This letter tells him to get revenge on Edgeworth. Why would he want to take revenge on you? What did you do to him? Right. Yeah? There's something that's been troubling me these last few days. Tell me what the fuck happened! I didn't know whether I should tell you or not. Nigga, if you don't tell me, you're going to jail forever, nigga! You mean the nightmare. We know this, we know this, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about, though? I think... I think the time has come to tell all. What were you dreaming about, nigga? What was your nightmare, Freddy Krueger? For the last 15 years, I've had the same dream almost every... God damn, <laughs> nigga! You had the same dream for 15 years every night, nigga. Go to the fucking therapist. I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. What kind of dreams are you having, nigga? It's a dream about somebody with burnt skin and a pink and red sweater. Like, nigga, you're gonna die, but that's Freddy Krueger, nigga. It's a dream about my father's killing in the dark. Help, I can't breathe. I quiet, I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. I want to get out! Help! Get us out! Don't shout! You just use up even more oxygen! Stop showing that same scene! Uh, I... I can't breathe! You, you're using up my air! What? Stop breathing my air! I'll stop you! I'll stop you! Ah! Wait, what? What are you... Stop breathing my air! Ah! No, father! He's attacking father! Then I see the pistol lying by my feet. Did Edgeworth shoot the darkness thinking he was killing the nigga? But killed his father instead? I don't know if it was evidence from that day in the court or the bailiffs. In a daze, I pick up the pistol. Get away from my father! Ah! This nigga 
the cute is dead! What the fuck? That is insanity, bro. Lynn Sanity, Jeremy Lynn. It's a bone chilling scream. A scream that has rung in my ears for the past 15 years. You killed your own father. But that's just a dream, right? Right? That thought is the only thing that has kept me sane for the last 15 years. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's real? They say that sometimes people shut out memories and self-defense. Very true. Traumatizing events? It gets shut out immediately by your brain. Maybe it was I who killed my father. They might do another twist where he actually wasn't the one that did that shit, but if that's true, that's insane, bro. If you think about it that way, this letter makes sense. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Think about it. Yogi was really innocent. That's why he wanted revenge against me. But why would he want revenge against Hammond, though? Wait, Edgeworth, you mean... It was me. I was the true criminal of DL6. I shot my father. This is bad. What are we gonna do, Nick? What can we do? I don't know. I don't think there's anything we can do, like it or not. And the crazy thing, at the end of the day, that would have been self-defense, bro. That nigga was attacking my dad. I'm shooting you. I wonder if self-defense works that way. If somebody else is getting attacked, can you kill the nigga attacking somebody else and that's still your self-defense, technically? There is, Nick. There's someone else who knows about DL6. That bum-ass parakeet? Oh my fucking, you better not ever bring that nigga inside this conversation. Fuck no, fuck no. Criminal Affairs Department. We need to go here and then visit the fat fuck. Looks like Detective Gumshoe hasn't gotten back yet. Gumshoe? He won't be coming back today. Oh, really? He said there was some guy here to arrest by tomorrow. He's looking for Yanni Yogi, Yanni Yogi. The bow shop caretaker. He shouted something about catching him. It was the last thing I do or some bullshit that all police officers say. Good luck, Gumshoe. Can we go to the fucking... Can we go to the fucking... Can we go to the fucking... <laughs> I want to go to the actual evidence chamber, bro. One day left, Nick. Yeah, I know. Well, no time to waste. Let's get going. We need to go visit the uh, Grossberg Law Offices. That nigga still ain't got his fucking picture back. You ain't standing on business at all, you bitch-ass nigga. Mr. Grossberg? Ah, uh, hello there. Uh, what's wrong? You look troubled. Nigga, you told me to come over here and talk to you. No kidding, I can't believe you're not. M -m 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 my, my, my. Just calm down and tell me what's happening. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's Mr. Edgeworth. He, 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 what? Don't tell that nigga. Oh, shit. I see. So Edward Drenty shot his own father. It's only a dream, right? Only a dream. I wonder. You wonder what? If that's the case, then why do you look so troubled? Like niggas, we know he did that shit, bro. That's a crazy ass origin story. Well, also consider this. Yogi quite certainly holds a deep grudge against Miles Edgeworth. But why Hammond though? So deep you want to frame him for murder. This leads me to surmise. That Edgeworth dream was not a dream, it was real, as you imagine. Imagine being a young jit just trying to save your dad and you end up killing the very man you're trying to save. Woo! God damn, bro. Miles Edgeworth threw the pistol to save his father. The pistol fired and the deed was done. That's crazy, bro. But I mean, if, if Edward didn't kill the nigga, the other niggas don't kill him anyway. He was choking his ass, bro. My ear! My ear! Like, nigga, damn! I don't believe it! Yogi was suspected of murder, and his career as bailiff was inver... Inver... Irreplaceably... Nigga, I don't fucking know. Wrecked! Uh, 
Go see Sour Revenge on Miles Edgeworth. This is the last chance of curse. Nigga, then what did Hammond do, bro? I need to know. With the Statue of Limitations so close. Nigga, is my camera good? Okay, just making sure. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. How you doing, bro? Hell, yes, sir. How's your mental health? Drink you some water, eat you some food. All that sexy-ass shit. Gregory Edgeworth. What do you know about Gretcher's father? He was a defense attorney without peer. It sounds trite, but it's true. Well, he may have had one peer now that I think about it. Your mentor, Maya Fay. They were friends? My sister? Gregory Edgeworth was very disapproving of Mr. Von Karma's techniques. Woo! Imagine you disapproving your son ends up working for the nigga. That's no surprise. Von Karma is an extreme man, forced testimonies and evidence for nothing to him. Forced testimonies are crazy. The result, he has perfect win record in court. And the nigga, he about to get his first loss then, bro. Good luck. To beat him, Gregory Edgeworth tried to call attention to his methods. And he lost. And died in despair as it were. I see. God damn. When Gregory Edgeworth was killed, the police called on a spirit medium. That was your mother, Misty Faye. It's like everything connects flawlessly, bro. Like, I'm genuinely wondering, like, does this series get better from here? This is the first game, and it's already, like, a 10 out of 10 on some real shit, bro. And it gets better? I am Gregory Edgeworth. I have been killed. The one who shot me was the bailiff, Yanni Yogi. Yeah, Yogi was found innocent. That's what my mother left us. Everyone called her a fraud. That's right. Everyone thought she was, you see. Yet, yeah, now that I think about it, it seems the one who lied was Gregory Edgeworth's ghost. The son actually killed him. Gregory Edgeworth must have known who shot him. I don't believe it. So you're saying he falsified his testimony? That Edgeworth's dad lied to protect his son? As a ghost? It's only a possibility, mind you. But a possibility nonetheless. God damn. What should I present you? What should I present you? Should I show him this shit? Oh ho! So this is the letter! It does seem Yogi was following this letter when he killed Hammond. But why kill Robert Hammond? Hammond was sealed defense attorney. But he defended clients not for his sake, but for his own. He probably made that nigga broke his shit. I didn't even realize that! He charged out his ass! He never trusted his clients, that one. The only thing he trusted was his own ability. But he got his client found innocent, so why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. He won that innocent verdict for no one but himself. Yogi was a free man, but socially, he was ruined. What? You understand soon enough. Wait, what the fuck does that mean? What is it? This letter. I've seen this handwriting somewhere before him a long time ago. Whose handwriting was it? Von Karma! Could it be Manfred Von Karma? Von Karma? Why would he have something to do with this? Um, well, I'm not sure. Von Karma, Von Karma. Wait, you're right, my boy! This is Von- I KNEW IT! Why, though? I used to see it all the time in court reports. What? But that means the one who killed Mr. Yogi was told to kill by Von Karma himself. What does this mean then? Why would Von Karma want to frame Edgeworth? Because, 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 because the metal detector! Misty Fay. She was a beautiful woman. I'm truly sorry about what I did. Huh? Sorry about what? I think I'll stay out of this one. What the fuck did you do to her, nigga? You fucked? You fucked? Uh, let's see. The deal six? This incident took place 15 years ago tomorrow. So tomorrow we will see completion of not one but two trials. All thanks to the statute of limitations. However, I'm afraid the damage the deal six incident was done will never be eased. What the fuck is it then, bro? Nigga the poly nigga? I don't fucking know. Robert... The picture, Gregory Edgeworth. He was a gifted man, nigga. What is it? 
I'm about to press all this. I'm about to press all this shit. The bird, nigga. This. In any case, it's good that nigga. What is the fucking answer? What a creep. <laughs> Quite sorry. I have nothing to say concerning that. Then what the... I'm so confused, bro. <laughs> I am so confused right now. Quite sorry. I have nothing to do with that. Uh, quite sorry, I don't do that. Like, nigga, what is the- What do we do? Was that right? Nigga. This is not- I'm just rehashing the same information. Now there's only one question left. Why did Von Kama write this? Oh, my dumb ass. I was still presenting. If it truly was Von Karma who wrote this letter, then he would not know. Fuck! He would know that Miles Edgeworth had accidentally killed his own father. He'll say as much tomorrow in court, I shouldn't think. He'll press the point until the. They're gonna tell this nigga? Oh no. But how can Mr. Von Karma know that Mr. Edgeworth passed like that? Even Mr. Edgeworth thought it was a nightmare. Hmm. Nigga, cause they were fucking. He trained the nigga, bro, since birth. Yet I do know Von Karma is both persistent and a perfectionist. He may be seeking to satisfy a grudge against Gregory Edgeworth by hurting his own son. What do you mean? It was 15 years ago. Von Karma met Gregory Edgeworth in court, and Von Karma did win, but he didn't make it through the trial unscarred. What the fuck happened? What happened in the trial between Edgeworth's dad and Von Karma? Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. He won the trial, but Gregory Edgeworth accused Von Karma of faulty evidence. And that's why to this day, niggas say he wins by unnecessary means. And no, he lost the trial. Mr. Edgeworth's accusation stood. It's like Drake saying Meat Mill's a fucking ghost rider, bro. Or Meat Mill saying Drake is a fucking ghost rider. Like, that shit to this day, no matter what Drake accomplishes, niggas still say he has a ghost rider. Like, you got a fucking uh, uh, piece of your armor taken out. Faulty evidence? It was the only penalty Von Karma has ever received on his career as a prosecutor. Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Woo! The same as Ghost Riding, nigga. Wow. It must have been quite a shot for Von Karma. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. A vacation? Yes, an unusual event for the man. That was his first and the last vacation he's taken in many years of prosecuting. Really? He doesn't take vacations? I think it sound like me. Oh shit, daily uploads. Like, go to the sea or uh, the mountains. Don't tell me he's never been to Europe. I heard them European girls be freaky as hell, but they be pissing on niggas. Like, please do me next. You say you have strange ideas about vacations, Maya. In any case, that was the only time he took a vacation from work. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. Odd. If he wanted to keep a perfect record so badly, why would he take such a long vacation? What do we do, Nick? Mark Karma's going to bring out the DL6, you can bet on it! I'm going back to that fucking evidence room right the fuck now! But even accidental murder is murder, you know. I know that! So he still would've went to jail! Self-defense wouldn't have worked right there! I just believe in Edgeworth's innocence. I can't believe he killed someone. Except his own dad, nigga. Edgeworth admits it himself! His father must have lied to protect him from beyond the grave! I don't care! I know he's not guilty. Mr. Wright. If you say so, I suppose I could go check again. The police files might hold something of interest. Mr. Grossberg, thank you. Even those niggas, I don't know, be kind of annoying this whole game. The only enemies really I have is Von Karma, bro. And Yanni Yogi. I can't promise anything. In fact, I think the chances of finding something are very slim. Unlike myself. I understand. The police materials. Go to the fucking evidence room right the fuck now, right the fuck now, right the fuck now. Water break! Oh shit, my nigga, I don't got water, but I got a little powery right here, bro. Hold up. Ah, yes, sir, my nigga. Hell yes, bro. All right. On to the criminal affairs department. There's hardly anyone here. Everyone must be out looking for the old guy, Yogi. Ah, oh, it's you! I don't think Gumshoe will be coming back today. He's staying out late looking for someone. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe is pounding the pavement for real. Um, 
We were wondering if we could go check out the records room again. Well, now I can't just have anyone wandering around in there. Nigga, I'm a lawyer! But I guess Mr. Von Karma's in there. Von Karma's in there? What? Von Karma? Yes. He's arrived, actually. That's like the equivalent of fucking, I don't know, bro, Yuji and Gojo walking to the place. Like, yo, you mind if you go in there? They're like, yeah, I mean, I suppose. I mean, Ghetto's already in there, so <laughs> go ahead, try your luck. Like, nigga, what? Ghetto's in there? Von Karma's in the records room. Nick, let's hurry. That nigga found everything already. That nigga found everything already. I thought she said dusty ass. <laughs> I was like, nigga, what? We were only here just yesterday. I'm sure they haven't cleaned nigga at all, bro. What's wrong, Nick? Nothing. I was just noticing he isn't here. Von Karma? Where the fuck is that nigga at? Why is there an open case right here? One of the drawers here is open. Someone must have been looking in recently. The label says unsolved cases evidence. Unsolved cases? Nick, the file for DL6 is completely empty! What? What are you doing here? Like, nigga, spit the word out, bro! You! How do you know my name? Huh? Have we met? Nigga, I've been across the courtroom from you for the past three days! What are you saying? We see each other every day, don't we? We're Miles Edwards' defense team! Huh? Defense team? Um, I beg your pardon. You see, I rarely remember defense attorneys. They are like bugs to me. That nigga did all that to set up the fact that I was useless inside the courtroom. Like, nigga, I hate this nigga. Needless things to be crushed. I can see how this guy was Edgeworth's mentor. Nigga, talk to the nigga. Edgeworth. Um, Mr. Edgeworth is your student, right? A romanticist who still can't shed the veneer of amateurism. Just like his father, always second rate. God damn! Mr. Von Karma. You had an axe to grind with Mr. Egri, didn't you? Egri? Who the fuck is that nigga? Me. A grudge against a mere defense attorney? Why? Because he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect trial record. Hmm. So you did. But what I don't get is, why did you take his son under your wing afterwards? The son of your most bitter rival. I mean, Sasuke trained Boruto. That, my dear attorney, is none of your business. Tomorrow's trial. Tomorrow will be the last day of this trial. It's been a while since I've had my defense attorney last lens long. Still... You will lose in the end. Nigga, you about to have a fucking, uh, immediate punch shield record, nigga. I'm giving you the first loss. Easily. Miles Edgeworth will admit to his own guilt. His guilt of 15 years ago, you mean? You're quite the researcher. If you've done your homework so well, then certainly you must understand. You know what Miles Edgeworth would tell the court tomorrow. We were right. So Von Karma is going to bring up DL6 in the court tomorrow. What the fuck? Nigga, did you write this? Did you write this? Mr. Von Karma, have a look at this. This was you, wasn't it? You instructed Yanni Yogi to commit murder. Yanni Yogi. How many years has it been since I have called him by that name? What the fuck? He's a fool. I told him to burn it after he read it. So that was Yanni Yogi! So you admit it! You wrote Mr. Yogi this letter? <laughs> of course I wrote that bullshit. Well, who's gonna believe you? Yes, my dear defense attorney. Thank you for taking the trouble to bring it to me. You saved me from a lot of needless hassle. What? Nick! What is that thing? Ah! I think I'm about to stun gun my ass? Police! Police! If I learn anything from this channel, my nigga, you got me, I suppose. Like, nigga, don't shoot me for self-defense, usually. Indeed. 600,000 volts will course through your body like a dog touching an electric fence, huh? 600,000? Oh, don't worry. People don't die from it, usually. Now, give me the letter. Nigga, I'm screaming for the fucking police, bro. No! No! What are you... Nick, run! <laughs> Nigga, did she just die? Maya! 
out of my fucking way. Wow! He shot both of us? Nigga! He just made her powers even stronger. She about to wake up as Mia like, what the? What, what's happening to me? Like, nigga, damn! Where'd those come from? The letters. Gone, of course. And he took the DL6 evidence. All of it. Back to having no clues. Wait, Maya jumped first. Maya, is she okay? Maya! Maya, open your eyes! Maya, please! The letter. Did he take it? Are you okay? I couldn't stop him. I jumped as fast as I could, but one shot from that thing knocked me out cold. I'm useless. Nigga, you got shot by 600,000 volts, bro. <laughs> you damn near static shock at this point. I'm no good as a lawyer or a medium. I can't even call my sister. Not even now, we need her the most. I wish I'd have woken up at all. What? You wish you died, nigga? Maya. There has to be some way I can help her. I better do something about her self-confidence first. Maya, she's holding something. What is that? A bullet? DO6 incident. Evidence number seven. Take it from the... The heart of Gregory Edgeworth? I remember. Von Combo was holding this as Maya jumped him. Good move, Maya! I'll prove it to you, Maya. You're most definitely not useless. I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. God damn! This shit is crazy, bro. Absolutely saved my fucking progress, my nigga. Well, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, bro. Tomorrow, as you can see, the final day trial. Should be the final episode of Ace Attorney, bro. I'll go ahead and get it all in one episode. No taking breaks, none of that shit, bro. I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Check on your strong friends. Pray for your enemies. Don't at least wish them well. A lot of niggas did say to do the DLC on the main channel. I will think it over. It Like, right now, I'm kind of leaning towards, honestly, doing the membership, but we will see, bro. We will see, bro. It's just like a long, it's a long-ass fucking <laughs> DLC, bro. Like, I looked into it. That shit, there's seven hours, no matter who the fuck plays that shit, bro. But, I'll see you niggas next video, bro. Peace.